Hello there, my name is Diawolf, and I want to welcome you all back to another Honest Review. Today, I'd like to talk about a little puzzle game that can be both challenging and simplistic at the same time. Escape Simulator is this very game, placing players in a room with little to no advice on how to solve the puzzles aside from the obvious. Escape the room you are in. Let's go ahead and begin breaking this game down, starting with its core features. That being, the puzzles it likes to throw at you. The puzzle rooms themselves are filled to the brim with interactables, clues, tools, and mysteries. Each room you encounter is vastly different than the last one when it comes to the solution of each puzzle. But most rooms share the same cosmetic appeal and basic problem solvings from their previous areas. The puzzles in the game can be fairly easy, but at the same time, they can be very difficult to figure out. Luckily for us, the devs have gone ahead and provided a hint function to guide you, the player, in the right direction should you get stumped. I found when solving the puzzles, although confused most of the time, the answers would be staring at me right in the face. All in all, the puzzles can be very challenging, but also feel extremely rewarding once they've been solved. And with a wide variety of different environments, not even including the DLC, community extras, and holiday event rooms, it feels like there's always something new to challenge you. Taking a step away from the puzzles themselves, let's take a look at the overall appeal of the game. Escape Simulator has a pretty cartoony aesthetic, but the balance in the textures is very easy on the eyes, and in some areas, complete eye candy. The overall appeal of Escape Simulator can come off as almost childish, but to me, once you get past that, the game itself, all in all, has a very simple yet elegant look to it and to me, increases the overall appeal of the game. Since we've covered the positives and the overall appeal of the game, I wanna move on to some of the negatives. First for me would have to be the room sizes. They feel pretty cramped early on for more than one person. The rooms almost feel like every time I'm playing with my friends, I'm shoulder to shoulder with them in some instances. Next on this list would be the puzzles. Although they can be challenging at times, that's the point of a puzzle game. My main issue is finding clues around a room for different solutions to the same puzzle, hinting at possibilities for some randomization, but for the most part, the puzzles stay the same. From a time-based perspective, this is good, especially seeing as every single room you're in has a timer on it to essentially strive for the trophy. But I'd like to see a little randomness when it comes to these combinations. A good example of this would be when me and my friend were playing an Egyptian mission and we did not meet the time requirements to get the trophy. For us, it wasn't really much of an issue because we could just go back and replay the mission and get the best possible time that we could do in as little time as possible and still get the trophy. If there was just a little randomness to it, we may have ended up spending more time on the puzzle trying to learn more mechanics before moving on to the next rooms. All in all, the game is good, with its unique room design, challenging puzzles, and vast amount of rooms to solve. I do hope further down the line, the devs take into account larger rooms for more friends to join in on the puzzle solving fun. As for now, I'd give this game a 7 out of 10, and I definitely recommend playing with a friend. If you've made it to this part of the video, I'd like to ask what your thoughts are on the game. The good, the bad, and the ugly. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe for any and all future content. As for now, I'll see you all in my next video.